Oxford Nanopore provides the only sequencing technology that can sequence DNA as well as RNA and it's portable, it's real-time data analysis and it's very cost-effective so it's perfect for countries like Sri Lanka. I think Nanopore, uh, when we want to rapid pathogen identification and scale up sequencing, that is the most suitable platform for countries like ours. When the pandemic first started, nobody anticipated that it would spread as much as it did. In countries like Sri Lanka, Oxford Nanopore Technologies provided the best solution. Throughout the pandemic, we've been able to identify the entry of these different variants to Sri Lanka. Then the public health experts could take uh, remedial actions uh, to contain the pandemic. Being agriculture-based economy and also very biodiversity-rich country, Sri Lanka has so much potential and they can use nanopore sequencing technologies in many, many other areas. These facilities now later on can be used to um, identify cancers for personalized medicine and other applications in identifying diseases which were not possible before. For virology, we have think about identification of emerging pathogens. Maybe the Oxford nanopore is very useful to identify unknown pathogens. I think a lot of other universities will take up sequencing. The Ministry of Health in Sri Lanka also has now established nanopore sequencing laboratories in several areas. So I see a huge potential for Sri Lanka.